Hi YouTube, this is Ariel from Team Shockwave and today I'm gonna show you guys the um, the deck list for the um, Obelisk deck that we had um, against Odin in our match for like the gods against Nordic gods and I'll just uh, show you the, the, the deck right now. Alright, so here's the deck and as you can see I'm playing mostly level 10 monsters and it's because of um, I wanted to use the most or um, about this this field card but also because it was easier for me to special summon a uh, hard arm dragon just by discarding any of those cards and also because by this you can exceed summon with them into like a Gustav Max if like you're playing against a stall deck that you can go through post burn with like Tagodia or like a Malefic Cyber Hand even with like Red Eyes, Dark Metal and of course Obelisk um, we're playing 3 Obelisk um, 2 Exodius, 2 Tragodias, 1 Malefic Cyber Hand I was thinking of going 1 1 more like an extra 1 but it didn't seem like, to, like um, it was working pretty well because of um, Obelisk I mean, you know, basically the point of this deck was to summon Obelisk and just uh, burn and like just keep um, opponents at bay. Um, then we played, uh, I played three um, Harbin, Harbin Arm Dragons just in case I was not able to get the field on time. That way my Obelisk wasn't able to like, get destroyed by anything. Like it was like virtually invincible except by battle, but. It, it really worked well at uh, like putting everything else at bay. Also, um, three Raz Disciple and three Nova Summoners. This was just like a combo that I had in mind, so whenever you know I needed some shields, I could just go through all the three uh, Nova Summoners, and then the last one summon the Raz Disciple, get the three, and be ready for it, like my next turn into um, an Obelisk with the three. I played um, Soros of Revealing Light just because it's a good stall card. It lets you set up because you really need three monsters and sometimes you can get to like the third monster on the same turn or you really need to put like the obelisk at a time. And by, only, by by playing like double summon you can only do it two you can only do like two summons and that was like the big 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 problem sometimes I had. So that's why I played two sorts of living life. Um, I played three double summons for that for that reason as well because I needed to like do summon one, get three, summon two, get all this, or like summon one, special summon this guy, summon something, and then do something with red eyes as well. Like the point was to be the to have obelisk on the field as much as I can. That's, that's um, also the reason why I played the Mornax Stone Court. Um, I was playing out also um, Stray Lands before, but we, we decided it was better to play just this card instead. And also, um, that, that combos well with like the first Marn. That way you only need one more Marn more tribute, and that, that could virtually be any opponent's monster that was giving you trouble. Um, two Misties, like just basically because there's always sometimes something that can get that, that can get rid of not obelisk but the the tribute holder. Um, Soul Charge, just you know, so if I and if I had at any time to especially summon anything to, to to be able to put obelisk on the field, and I would just do it through that. Regeki, staple. Um, the first one I could say. Um, discarding something gets me like a just call divine and just shoot with one more monster and I'll be all set. Mirror Force, staple, compulsory, bottom list, throwing shell and fill warning, just staples for the defense. And since I was playing against Odin, this card like was like the best I could have worked, but um, I was not expecting really the like, a stall deck, so this was pretty much the most of the time. Um, yeah, so basically the main strategy was to either special summon anything twice, then summon something, and then normal like double summon for obelisk. And by doing that, having the field, it was it was starting to be good because you will all add always add an extra one thousand damage to your opponent. And if your opponent being like you know afraid of being burned every time, would 
be uh, you destroy this, you will get another obelisk to your hand. So if anything by any, by any chances happens to obelisk, you can just get it back next turn. Um, also, with like the hardened Dark dragon, uh, if like let's say I got some like, like any of those monsters clocked in my hand with obelisk, you can just discard and special summon him, um, the hardened dragon, and just see like what, whatever I have to like summon obelisk, which turned to be really good. So that's basically how it this deck was supposed to work. Just trying to like special summon, and um, if there if by any chance I can show you the, the extra deck to so see. Um, how it will work in like a different situation when it comes to like obelisk won't be able to attack or anything like that. Alright, so this is the um, extra deck and as you can see we played two Severans, especially because there are many cards like uh, compulsory or any other like even Castella you know can bring the Malefic back to the hand and in that turn we can you know, always you know banish another one. And as for like the level 10 XC uh, we played uh, two Gustamax, um, the Gangari Dao, <laughs> it's a Gangari Dai, and uh, the robot, like the super dimensional robot. I basically like this the most because it has high attack and also it can do 2000 damage every turn. So if it, like, if your opponent will be burned by the field and they will try to put defenses in order to stop that or like whatever stall stuff that they had, you can just burn it by 2000 and that's like two turns of like just winning. Um, and sometimes this um, this could be a, a good option as well um, because of how it just destroys the card and it also burns. So it's like a basically you know like a level ten burn deck. Um, and the, the second one we had it just in case we were able to like summon three like let's say Exodius or uh, Tragodia. But yeah, it was just. Um, to kind of get rid of whatever was pesky there and see if like, you can make a comeback with like obelisk and next turn or something. But we, I really never used this, not even in testing, but yeah, this one, yes. This was like the, the best option to go, like, you know, the, the card to go whenever you are stuck and you have an obelisk extra, you can just do it again. Um, basically the other stuff is like a uh, level 4 staples. But um, the only thing you could uh, be able to do was um, put like Hard and Arm Dragon and uh, the Nova Summoner XCs or something like that because when you play Ra you can't really special summon anything. So that's like, the only way and we, I, we really didn't need any of those and it was really hard for, for me to go in, to any of this just because I would rather use the level force to go into obelisk than into any of those cards and it was it was really hard also because the only like constant um, monster I will had was um, the, the the rag guy instead of you know another summoner which was just like kind of like a fodder like a floater for us to keep uh, defending and hard, hardened arm dragon which was just um, kind of like a defender and whatever, whenever we had a chance to do something with it we could just do it anyways but that's that's basically the deck and so far based on like the tests and how we played um, it played really good. It wasn't really the, the best option against Odin because Odin was as well 4000 so there was always that option of just you know crashing up and they had the advantage of just bringing it back while we don't. So probably I could be like and, and not even with like forbidden lances or anything we could be able to do anything because they, like Odin has that uh, immunity effect so that was the only thing that it, it was kind of like uh, annoying when it comes to the match but other than that I think it was it was like a really solid deck and a really fun deck to play and I just uh, suggest you to play it and test it and see if you can like, you know put anything else or change anything because it's a really fun deck to play and Obelisk, you know, Obelisk is Obelisk for a reason and we all love Obelisk. Right Parker? Right. So yeah, it's... Uh, I was um, Ariel from Team Shockwave and I hope you guys enjoyed the decklist and I'll send it out to you next time.